Now question number eight is, let pi equals pi one, pi two and pi n be a permutation of numbers one, two, three up to n. And we say pi has its first ascent at position k if pi one is greater than pi two, pi two is greater than pi three and it continues up to pi k and this pi k it is less than pi k plus one. Say for example, in this permutation, which is two, one, three, four, now two is greater than one and one is less than three. So we are getting this first ascent at position two. So we need to find the number of permutations which have their first ascent at position K. So we have N permutations. So suppose we have these N positions, which is one, two, three, and suppose it is K. This is K plus one and this is N. Now we need to find number of permutations so that its first ascent occurs at position K. So that means we have some number in this position K such that all these numbers, they occur in descending order. And then this number at K plus one, it should be greater than number at this position K. Now the way to solve this question is what we'll do is we'll take K numbers and we'll arrange them in descending order. And then we'll take K plus one numbers and we'll arrange them in descending orders and then from this first we'll subtract the second case then we'll get all the numbers in which these first k numbers they are in descending order but this k plus one number it will not be in descending order so it simply means at k plus one it will be some number which is greater than number at this position k so we are going to solve this question using exclusion so first what we'll do is we'll find k numbers from these given n numbers. So from these given n numbers, we can find k numbers in n c k ways. Now once we have these k numbers, we have to arrange these numbers in descending order. So we'll arrange k distinct numbers in descending order. It can be ordered in only one way. Now what about remaining n minus k numbers? So remaining n minus k numbers, they can be arranged in n minus k places in factorial n minus k ways. Now we'll consider the second case when, when we are selecting k plus one numbers. So we'll select k plus one numbers from these n, then it can be done in n c k plus one. And again, if we'll arrange these k plus one numbers in descending order, it can be done in only one way. And then remaining n minus k minus one numbers, they can be arranged in n minus k minus one factorial. The number of permutations which have their first ascent at this position k is given by all the permutations in which these first k numbers are in ascending order, but first k plus one numbers are not in ascending order. Answer to this question will be this first case and that is n c k into factorial n minus k minus n c k plus one into n minus k minus 1 factorial. 